This bull market run that we've seen has caught a lot of people off guard. Is our interest rates the primary driver? And can this continue if rates don't go lower? Yeah, well, great, uh, great to be with you, Dom. You know, on October 27th, we put out a note uh, when the market was around 4,100 titled pullback equals opportunity. And a big premise behind that note was that we thought interest rates as they closed in on 5% were peaking. And to your point, the main driver in our, in our view has been this move down in interest rates to drive this market higher. So we've seen this, you know, almost a 10% move from the end of October. And now you're starting to see a little bit of choppiness. But I do think that rates need to at least kind of stay where they are or, or move down a little bit more to, to have more energy in this up move that we've seen recently. Keith, what's interesting, we've got new fund flow data from Bank of America. They do it on a weekly basis. Many of our viewers and listeners know. But what they did know, amidst the bid in government bond prices and the drop in yields, they did see U.S. Treasury funds record their first outflow since February of roughly a billion dollars. At the same time, weekly inflows to stock funds, the second largest of 2023, with U.S. large cap funds seeing the largest inflow since February of 2022 at roughly $23.7 billion. Help us reconcile that. Well, if, if there's one thing that brings people back into the equity market, it's higher prices. So I'm not surprised that we're seeing more equity flows after the market's moved higher because there's some excitement. Um, so sentiment has shifted a bit. I don't think we're at euphoria. And the data we're looking at from ICI shows for the year, there's been over $100 billion of outflows out of equities and over $100 billion of inflows into fixed income. So we're just seeing a little bit of a reversal on that, but I want to make too much of that short term. All right, Keith, your word of the day, it has to do with the current environment right now. Take us through what it is. Sure. So, Dom, our word of the day is digestion. Just like after a big uh, Thanksgiving meal, you had to digest those gains or the, that, that, that big meal. After this big move up, I think the market's just in the process of digesting those gains. Ultimately, we still think there's some more upside before year end. Markets don't move in a straight line. We just think there might be more of a time um, where the markets just kind of chop back and forth for a little bit before we make that another push uh, higher before year end.